Hey guys, well, I'm sure you can guess what I'm out here for. I'm going to do another um, review, product review, and today I'm going to talk about another UAvionics product that I've had on my airplane for quite some time, and that is the Sky Beacon, and it's now certified companion, the Sky Sensor. So first I want to talk about, well, what is Sky Beacon? What is Sky Sensor? Uh, Sky Beacon is a wingtip ADS-B out that meets the mandate. Sky Sensor is an ADS-B in. So the out transmits your ADS-B signal, in receives ADS-B signals. Um, they are wingtip mounts so what they do is they replace your navigation light and they work with your existing transponder so uh, makes it um, very economical solution makes it a very economical solution to meet the ADSB mandate first I want to talk about the positives of the ADSB in and out with the Sky Beacon Sky Sensor. Uh, the first real big positive is the fact that installation impact. Instead of having to dig into your uh, dash and run wiring and antennas and all kinds of stuff that is with most ADSB solutions, all you have to do is take off your navigation light on your wingtip and screw on this. Uh, new nav built-in navigation light and ADS-B and voila you're done. A very simple setup on with a, uh, an application that they have for it on your smartphone that links to it and it's quick setup. Um, so installation you can have it installed in 15 minutes unless you need a little fairing adapter it might take a little longer but probably 15 minutes per light typical is what I've seen with it then you got about another 15 to 30 maybe 30 minutes of in setting it up with the app and some configuration stuff possibly but all in all probably about an hour is all it's going to take to get it installed um, second positive with it it's effective very effective uh, initially i had a couple of errors uh, getting my performance report, ADSB public performance report with it, but it had nothing to do with the unit itself. It was an issue with my transponder. So once I got that resolved, I never had issues. Uh, I put it on in 2019 prior to the installate of uh, the uh, mandate coming out in 2020. So I put it on in 2019 as soon as it was available. I was in some of the first shipments um, and it's been effective. I've had no issues since then. Um, the third biggest positive with using the Sky Beacon or the Sky Sensor is cost. Uh, very, very reduced cost for an ADS-B solution compared to a panel or an inline system. So typically I think the cost for the certified unit at the time it was like 2000 I think they've gone up a little bit more since then. They may be around 2200, 2300 now. But for a certified ADSB solution, you know, the cost you you really can't beat that with 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 much at all. So, I want to talk about next the negatives. What kind of negatives have I had with the Sky Beacon and Sky Sensor? Because I have had a few. Um let me talk about the biggest issue I had with the Sky Beacon and Sky Sensor solution, and that is, believe it or not, RFI problems. There is a known fact that LED can produce radio interference. And when I put them on, everything seemed fine. And then what ended up happening, as I was on a cross-country flight shortly after. Now, I just had the Sky Beacon installed at the time. So just the, the ADS-B out, that was all I had. And I was on a cross-country flight, I was on flight following, and it gets kind of quiet after a while. And uh, 
Well, lo and behold, ATC had been trying to get a hold of me. I couldn't pick it up. Airliner nearby ended up getting my signal. We transmitted back and forth and couldn't figure out what was going on. And uh, I was like, well, I don't know. Maybe I got some radio issues. Never suspected that at all. Um, all the other system checks we had done had checked out fine. Well, then I went and got the sky sensor. I ended up getting a sky sensor for the ADSB in to bring in traffic and weather and stuff like that into the plane. And I installed it. And when I had done that installation, I went ahead and ran wires for the strobes that are built into it. This airplane did not have strobes installed in it originally. It was just navigation lights. It was a a ground and one power wire running out to each wing, so I needed to run another wire. Well, I did that, and I installed the strobes, and when we did the first power up, the first thing I noticed, I turned the strobes on, and I could hear, psh, 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 from the strobes. And I, wow, that's kind of crazy. Thought maybe it was something to do with the strobe wiring itself, and to... Uh, as we worked on it, I pulled the plane into the hangar here, tuned into the uh, AWOS, and closed the hangar door to the point where I can barely get reception. And that allows you to work on interference and radio reception things. It's one way of testing. And when I turned, and I noticed when I got to just where I could hear the signal, just barely would open the door enough to, boop, the signal comes on. And I could hear the moment I would turn on the sky beacon or sky sensor, didn't matter which one, radio would go quiet. And I started noticing that, okay, I've got some interference problems. Long story short, after a bunch of back and forth with the thing, my solution that the only thing that really worked, simply put, was to use some of these... chokes, ferrite chokes, probably see these things around power cords and stuff like that, and I had to use several of them on both the strobe wire and power wire of each unit, run the wire three twice through, and that solved it, that, that solved it, and I had good radio reception after that, and kind of moved on with life, but that was a problem. And I've installed probably a dozen or more of these ADS, uh, these sky beacons on. Only two airplanes ever had problems with it. Mine being one, of course, that's the way that goes. Secondly, second negative thing really is it is only half of your ADSB solution. And that's because it works with your existing transponder. So if your existing transponder is aged, old, weak, has any problems, it's going to affect your ADS-B performance. So that can be a thing. If your transponder's already kind of, you know, given up the ghost, you need to decide if you can get your transponder repaired cheaply enough. Um, it's got to be working well for the sky beacon to be working well. So let me wrap this up a little bit by showing you my overall thoughts with the sky beacon and the sky sensor. And as you can see, they're not there anymore. Went back to regular navigation LED strobe. LED combo. Why aren't they on there anymore? Was it the RFI? No, it really wasn't. Was it uh, something to do with the unit? No, it really wasn't. Issue for me. I will show you. I have an old Edo Air RT777 transponder in my panel. And guess what? It started giving me issues. And it's hard to get repaired. 
worked on. I'm not going to fool with it anymore. So my transponder's kind of gone. So, well, that's the end of, of that. I've decided to go to another solution for my ADSB. Um, so, do I wish to uh, give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down on the Sky Beacon? It's a thumbs up. Excellent solution. Amazing the technology packed in to that Sky Beacon and the Sky Sensor. The ADSB in, ADSB out. Uh, I just didn't want to retain um, my existing transponder because of the cost, what it was going to be to get that thing up and going. So I'm fixing to undergo something right now. I already took off the Sky Beacon and Sky Sensor and have since sold those. There's nothing wrong with the units. One's already installed on another 150, working fine. So um, all a positive on that. It just, it, hey, it held me for three years. My transponder was needing done, and I have to bite the bullet and get that all that taken care of. So I'll be going to that. One last note. There's another product out there called Tail Beacon. That, mount, that replaces your navigation light at the back of your tail. That is a totally different unit. Uh, so that would be a separate review entirely. Very similar, works the same principle, but um, it has some pluses and minuses to the tail beacon as well. But I haven't installed one of those actually, believe it or not. So... I don't want to do a review on something I'm not really familiar with. Anyway, thanks for watching this. Got a lot more videos coming up, um, all kinds of stuff. So we got a lot of content. So we'll see you in the next one.